here we are in Herne Hill, where I lived for once. Um, that's off the cuff, and the person who runs it is a marvellous man called Tony. How are you doing, Tony? I'm very good. Fantastic. You've got some some great things happening. Um, I have, yes, yeah, yeah. Just tell me a little bit more about what you told me off camera. Uh, yeah, we've just uh, we kind of opened a bar about well, just over a year ago now. Uh, it used to be an old timber yard. So, um, the concept behind it was to change it into a music venue that would probably rival the Roundhouse, uh, wow. even the Cavern Club. So we kind of, you know, we've got big ambitions, uh, but it's more about bringing young musicians through um, and giving them a chance because we feel, kind of, in London now, most bands I speak to are going over to Europe, France, Germany, Holland, and that's where they're getting a real good run, uh, and they're, they're more appreciated. So what we thought we want to do, we also want to bring back something kids can talk about in 20 years' time. So they can see, actually, I was it off the cuff and I've seen these acts come through and I've seen them become something. Um, I mean, we're not guaranteeing every band's going to you know, make it and going to be famous, but one thing we can do is give them a chance. Um, so to help that out, we've got um, some big things are going on in the pipeline. We're starting an um, off-the-cuff festival, which will be uh, launching 26th of August next year. It's going to be the People's Festival. So we should hope, we're starting off with 1,000 people, so what we're hoping to do is we've got capacity for 30,000 in the future, I'm saying it for 15 years, is to bring all the up and coming bands through. I mean a lot of bands that have been around a long time still need to be seen as well, so it's yeah. not just about new bands. Um, so giving them a chance and saying, well look, I'll tell you what we do, we're going to have no headliners at this festival. So it's going to be cheap, we're going to be uh, bringing all the resources in, local resources, so cheap food, We'll be running all the bars, so they'll be so cheap to have a drink there. And, and, and the most important thing is, thank you, Rob. The most important thing is, is that the money that we start earning through the festival, we can share out with all these bands, so which enables them. Enables, great. yeah, we're not paying, you know, you know, you go to Glass and Green, all these big places, and what, ten percent of the bands get get all the money really, and it's sort of what ninety percent playing for free. Yeah. Which in my eyes is pretty horrendous when you know most of these bands have got so much money anyway. They're taking why, advantage of yeah, people that want to play. Yes, yeah. yeah. So why don't you let them... So we're going to share the money out amongst the bands, let them go, let them go and do their, their own EPs, so give them a few quid to go. If they want to go on a small tour, they've got some cash there to go and do that. And it gives them a chance to be seen. Um, so we're hoping, you know, in, a, in say a decade's time, there'll be a lot more bands will come through that would never have made it. Uh, and, and bringing back that kind of old school, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s. Uh, and we do that even on the, I mean, we do live jazz on a Monday, uh, and, and that's that's a really cool thing. We've got people from Ronnie Scott's coming down. Um, Anita Wardell comes down. She's one of the biggest singers in, in Europe. And, um, and she charges £20 head, but when she comes here, she comes and plays for free. Wow. Which so is pretty cool. There's a trust vibe going on there. And, and on the third, yeah, there is a massive trust vibe, yeah. I mean, even the Thursday nights, I mean, we bring in bands from all over the place, even Europe. Well, recently we had um, a girl from America, uh, and she's, you know, she came over and wanted to play. So we're tapping into a lot of places. And, Can and you sing. Um, tell me a few more of the bands that you have here that are more guitar oriented? That's mainly what my channel focuses on, with a few exceptions. Yes, yeah, I mean, I mean uh, King's Parade, I've, I've got high hopes for. Um, they're a, a young band. They live in, in the same house together. They've got this kind of, you know, passion for music. Uh, and you, you know, the hairs on the back of your neck actually stand up <laughs> when you when you s these guys play. Okay. And, uh, and if they don't stand up when I see them, then we'll have issues. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> you can quote me on that one for sure. <laughs> You know, I put my house on these guys making it. Oh, wow. um, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, another one uh, is uh, Ozteki, who are um, yeah, they've got, they've got this trancey doors feel about them, and, and I think what I what I love about the artists that come here, they've got this so there's a bit of freedom there. I mean, we don't charge in the door. You haven't got to bring 30 or 40 friends. So when you come in, I mean, we give you free drinks and we help with expenses if you're coming from quite far away. A band from Manchester, Scotland, and we do, you know, we do help out as much as we can. Um, and so what you get is the bands have got no pressure. Yeah. You're, not, you're not worrying about, oh, well, I haven't brought enough friends. There's going to be a kind of animosity between me and the club owner. There's none of that. That's gone away. It's um, a good vibe then. It's Everyone a great vibe a already. Time. And then you've got the kind of cult following which comes in because they love music, but also it's not about the money. So they haven't got to pay to come in. So you've, you've just got this total relaxed vibe. 
in the venue, Genius. which makes it really cool. And, and, the, and then the artists do things they probably would not normally do. Okay. Uh, you know, as technical, for, for instance, you know, it just <laughs> lost. He lost it one night and just his, his top come off and his shoes are off and he's just performing to his max. And he's, you know, he's, he's a great singer. I mean, they're all great musicians, but it was also the art of what we're doing as well. Cause, Okay. And I, I, I think that's down to being just really relaxed on the stage, you know. Tony, you know what we're going to do? You are going to, later on, you're going to text me the details of these bands. I'm going to put them on the text on the screen yeah. so people can check them out for themselves. The strange thing is, there's a hell of a lot more to see, but obviously oh, a lot we'll, we'll more bands this. as well. This is the big beginning of many videos. So some of the bands <laughs> that I haven't mentioned, so, yeah, there's a hell of a lot more bands I couldn't mention. Though, that's you know? okay. They do not feel slighted because at some point their text will be on the bottom of the screen next to your chin if you talk talking about them. It'll be fucking awesome. Okay. Also, um, there's something going on on Tuesday which we won't talk about on camera because I'm sworn to secrecy but uh, at some point when I get information about that we'll make another video Is yes cool? yes yeah we can do that yeah, Most yeah. Excellent. That, you can do that in the near future yeah. excellent we'll, we'll see put how it goes of, uh, off the cuff on the screen we can, we can drop a little taste down we, we can see um, if the Americans like it then uh, yeah there could be some big things in the future for this place and for a lot of artists that can be I'm convinced you've been awesome thank you for being on Clark Kent's been a pleasure with you channel Thank you.